Has your casket arrived in town? Appointed to die. And the Lord commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Genesis 2, 16-17 through Adam and Eve followed the temptation of the devil and did eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They died that very day spiritually, and their bodies are started on a journey toward physical death. Dear reader of this track, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and been born again, you are still dead spiritually in your sins. You are also on your journey toward physical death. You might be so close to death that your casket is already in town. Now think about that. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. James 4, 14. Your time on earth is very short. The days and years pass by. A lot of your plans for life are now just memories. Because time has already passed them. Just as surely as you have a birth date, you have a death date. And unless you become a Christian and are living when Jesus raptured uh, his cho true children out of the world. How are you going to feel when that last breath comes and your heart beats no more? You will come face to face with your creator. After death, what? And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews 9, 27. What comes next when you come before your creator? Let's look in God's word and see the outcome. If you die. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, and this is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake into the lake of fire. Revelation 20, 12 through 15. Your only escape. Now comes the purpose of giving you this gospel track. Because we love you, we want to show you how you can escape the, this lake of fire. The way has been prepared for you. Jesus said, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. John 10, 9. If you would only repent of your sins and accept Jesus in your heart as your Savior and Lord, you would be saved. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke 13, 3. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 1, 12. If you want to be saved, bow your head right now and ask Jesus to come into your heart and save you. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Your time on earth is short, but your decision for Christ lasts for eternity. Will you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and be confident of everlasting life?